Hello, dear fellows. I hope everyone is doing okay during these very challenging times. Um, I am Herman Aguinas from the George Washington University, and I am absolutely delighted to introduce Bob Vandenberg as an Academy of Management Fellow. Bob has made tremendous contributions to methods. So through his methodological contributions, he has helped all of us in the entire field improve our game because better methods lead to better theory. And to show Bob's contributions, I'm going to ask three questions and show you that through the answers that Bob has provided to all of us in his research, he has helped all of us improve our game. First, consider that you're trying to use a scale to measure, I don't know, leadership effectiveness, job satisfaction, employee commitment, any other construct. Obviously, that scale was developed in one context, in one industry, perhaps one in one organization only, and you would like to use that scale in a different context. The first question you will ask is, will this scale work in the same way? Will that measure measure the same construct to the same extent in a different context, different industry, perhaps even a different country? This wonderful article on measurement invariance by Bob, published in Organizational Research Methods, gives all the answers to that question. And he has received more than 6,000 Google Scholar citations. Here's the second question. Imagine that you're trying to measure change. Changes in individuals, changes in industries, changes in firms. How do you do that statistically? Here's another great contribution by Bob, in this case, on how to measure things over time, uh, specifically using latent modeling and latent growth uh, within the context of structured question modeling. This great journal management article really is, is, is fantastic in that way. Number three, think about all the things we learned about methods in graduate school, many of which we also teach our own students. And many of those actually are what Bob calls methodological statistical myths and urban legends, because some of those are not actually true. Some of those need to be updated, and some of those are completely obsolete. Bob's work in this regard has been truly illuminating because it allows us to spot and challenge some of these uh, things we just know to be true that get passed on from generation to generation. But in addition to being a fantastic scholar, Bob is a great human being. He's a very generous and giving person. Here's a photo of Bob and his wife, Carol, uh, they were uh, running a wine store for a friend who was undergoing cancer treatment. It was a very busy day, uh, but they were very, very happy to give back and help their friend in need. Bob is also a family man, and he loves uh, getting together uh, for meals with family members. This is a photo of Thanksgiving last year. And speaking of meals, Bob enjoys life and enjoys a good meal. I know that firsthand because I have shared many meals with him. And this is Bob enjoying a fantastic uh, seafood platter or maybe seafood tower, I would say. And of course, Bob also uh, enjoys his uh, Friday martinis. Uh, in any case, Bob, thank you so much for your contributions and welcome to the Academy of Management Fellows. <laughs>